Hi friends, Colby Sharp here, fifth grade teacher in Michigan. Thank you so much for tuning in to my channel. If you are new to this channel and you like this video, please consider subscribing by clicking that subscribe button down below. I try to do as many book talks of as many awesome books for kids that I can. I love talking about books. And today I'm gonna to be telling you about an amazing book by Jen Bishop, Things You Can't Say. This is the story of a boy named Drew. Uh, who is, he's a really neat kid. He volunteers at the local public library where his mom works, he works in the children's room, and he does these really elaborate read-alouds, and all of the little kids love him. And the book takes place during the summer when he is there every day, and he is helping with the summer reading program and shelving books, and uh, just a really, really cool kid, and really cool that he does that. Um, and one of the reasons that he does that is because three years ago, uh, unfortunately, his father committed suicide. And uh, when his mom went back to work, she tried to send him um, to like a day camp, and he just had a really, really hard time. Um, but the library with his mom nearby uh, found became this place where he could feel like himself and he could kind of figure out things, and she was there if he needed him. And it's his place, and he, and he loves it. Uh, one of the things that's really interesting about his father committing suicide was uh, Drew had no idea that his father uh, had any issues going on. It was hidden from him, or he just didn't notice, uh, but he just thought his dad was a happy man, was a dentist, he thought his life was great, and, and uh, his father taking his own life was just such a shock to Drew. During the summer that this book takes place, a girl named Audrey moves into town, and Audrey's spending a lot of time at the library, and um, they, at first, Drew and Audrey do not get along at all. They just don't really fit together. Um, but eventually it becomes this really cool and really interesting friendship as Audrey is trying to fit into a new town and Drew is trying to figure out uh, his life with his friend who he's a really good friend and now they're kind of like separate. You know how that goes in, in this early middle school time. Kids kind of drift apart and can't really figure out how to figure things out. And also during the summer, this, this man comes to, to stay with Drew, his brother, and mom. And uh, it becomes this wild thing, because number one, they're not like really, ha Drew's not really happy, didn't know about it, uh, but it's this man that the mom went to high school with, um, and he's going around the country on a motorcycle ride. And with all, all these different things happening, and Drew, uh, for a while, he starts to believe and think that maybe this man who is visiting is his, his real biological father. It is just a fascinating story, and I've told, probably told you too much about what is actually happening in the story, but the reason that I love this book is it helps kids to see um, the life of a child who's been through something that maybe they can't imagine, and it helps them to just see uh, the different intricacies of friendship and how sometimes like a friendship that is really close and falls apart doesn't have to fall apart. And it's just really, really interesting. I love the characters. I was captivated. I was turning page after page after page after page. I had to figure out how it ended. I had to figure out what was going to happen uh, with Drew and his mom and this man and Audrey. Uh, just such a fun book, and I think that readers are really going to like it. I think that they're going to like it uh, as much as I did. I think that they're going to to really love these characters. I think that some of these topics that are being addressed and looked at in um, books for, for young readers, it's just so important. I feel so thankful that I teach in a time where kids can have a book that is written for them and a book that they can digest, written about things like like a parent committing suicide. Um, that stuff happens every single day. And we can't pretend that these things don't happen. Our kids are smart, our kids are brilliant, our kids are amazing, and they want these stories. They want these stories that matter. They want these stories that make them think. And I'm so thankful that books, like things you can't say, exist in the world. And this book's your to-read list. Please, please, please consider reading it, checking it out from your public library, ordering it from your independent bookstore, stopping at your independent bookstore when it's safe to do so. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Colby Sharp. Have an awesome-tastic day and happy, happy reading.